Hi, my name is Nico Peruzzi with Outsource Research Consulting, and today I'm going to be talking with you about max diff scaling, which is a better way to understand preference and importance. So, max diff, known as maximum difference scaling, is a way to look at preference or importance scores for a number of items. These could be brand preferences, images, features, messages, benefits, whatever they may be. Max diff is also known as best worst scaling. So, We've all seen matrix or grid survey questions like this where we line up a number of items down the side and we ask people to rate them on some kind of rating scale uh, from 1 to 5, 1 to 7, whatever it may be. And um, difficulties with this include uh, scale bias. We invite uh, straight lining. And when the results come back and we try and interpret the difference between a 4.2 and a 4.4, what does that really mean? Sure, we can say items are statistically significantly different, but practically, what does this mean? And if we ask uh, respondents to rank these items or use a constant sum exercise, it can become a very difficult exercise for respondents. So MaxDiff takes a different approach. What it does is it pushes the, the items back to respondents, four or five at a time, and asks them which of these is most important and which of these is least important or most preferred, least preferred. Respondent simply chooses one that's most important and chooses another that's least important. So now what this is very easy for respondents. What we do is we push a number of these screens to the respondent and the number shown depends on the number of total items and this does a great job of discriminating between items. There's no scale bias, it's easy for different education levels, languages, cultures. A criticism is that it takes more time to do than a simple grid question. But if you've got an important decision and you want valid, easy to interpret differences between the items, max diff is really the way to go. And here's that easy interpretation right here. All of the items get lined up on a 100 point scale. And so now this is ratio scale data. And so we can literally say that an item that is rated a 10 has twice as much value as an item that's rated a five twice as much importance, twice as much preference. This is simply something that we cannot do with rating scale data. So why not use conjoint? Well, max diff is related to conjoint in that it forces respondents to make trade-offs. But think of max diff as a replacement for obtaining these ratings of importance or preference on a number of items in a single area, a single variable, something like messages alone, features alone benefits alone. Conjoint analysis is used to configure products, usually in relationship to price, on a number of variables. So with conjoint, we're trying to find the combination of product features and price that produce the greatest share of preference in relationship to other products. Whereas max diff is really, it's a much more simple concept. Any questions, give me a call, send an email, and if you'd like to keep posted on other uh, presentations like this, please follow me on Twitter. Thanks very much.